Hey guys, I'm Mingwei and I'm recording this video uh, to show people how to get C++ working in Visual Studio on Windows because a lot of the solutions on Piazza are a lot are like very overcomplicated because Visual Studio has support for CMake now. So the first thing you need to do of course is install Visual Studio which I already have installed. And you want to make sure that you have the Visual Studio tools for CMake installed. So to do that, open the Visual Studio installer from the start menu. And then click on modify Visual Studio. and go to the second tab, Individual Components. And about halfway down, there is here, Visual C++ Tools for CMake. And make sure that box is checked. If it's not checked, check it, and down here, click Modify, and it'll install everything you need. All right, so then, to get started, I will clone the Homework Zero repository and make sure to go into the repository and check out the Windows branch because that has a fix for the true type issue and then we'll go to Visual Studio and from here we do file open folder and we'll just open the git folder we just cloned. Now this will take a few seconds to load up everything. So at this point, uh, you want to make sure you have this bar up here with the drop down and this play button. If you don't have that, just right click on the top and make sure standard is checked like this. So then that'll make this show up. <clears throat> and I hid some of the other buttons, so that's why mine might look a little different. And then what we're going to do is click on this drop down and click on manage configurations. This will pop up this. Uh, and we'll select x86-debug. This will pop open a CMake setting.json, which is specific for Visual Studio. And then I'm going to change the build root and install root properties um, because by default it just puts all your uh, all your build stuff, all the executables created in a random folder somewhere. So we'll change it by taking off these first two folders and replacing workspace hash with workspace root. So this will just put everything in this folder that I'm currently working with. So at this point, we can go up to the top, click on the drop down here and select triangle test.exe. Go ahead and click it to run it. So it should build at this point already and run, but it will fail to load the true type library at this point. So we can see if, or excuse me, free type. So failed to find free type 6.dll. Okay, so close that. To fix that, we can just copy and paste free type 6.dll into the build folder. So to see the build folder, we have to find this show all files uh, button in the solution explorer. And that'll show builds here. We can see there's x86 debug, which we set up. And we have all our stuff. We have the uh, basically a bunch of build artifacts. So at this point, we just need to grab 
uh, free type 6.dll from somewhere and I happen to find a copy of it in my GIMP installation. <clears throat> so I'll just grab it from one of my previous uh, installations. Yeah, so let me see. So yeah, free time six dot dll, and I'll figure out some way to like download this so you can get it. Basically, just take that and drag it into the build slash x eighty six dash debug folder. So then, at this point, we can run it again. And after it builds, it runs, and here's our triangle drawing. And we can see the font does not look very good, so maybe that free type 6.dll is out of date or something, but I don't care since it compiles and builds and runs, and that's what matters. Okay, so that's basically what you need to know, but for later things, you have to. I'll show how to supply command line arguments to this. So to add command line arguments, and I'll also show how to debug the program. So to add command line arguments, we right click on CMake lists.txt. And there is, uh, let's see, somewhere here. There's debug and launch settings. So just hover over that and select triangle test.exe. And this will open this launch.bs.json. This is actually just stored in this uh, .vs folder, so you can also find it there. And to add an argument, just add a args property to the configuration, and just put as many arguments as you want here. And if you want, it's kind of weird. If you actually want an argument to have spaces in it, you have to escape your quotes yourself and enter it like that. So we can show that this actually works by going to triangle test.cpp, going to main, and just set a breakpoint here and run it. And it hit the breakpoint here, and we could just see in the args, argv of zero is just the path to the executable. Um, argv of one is hello, argv of two is world, and argv of three is the whole string with the exclamation mark in the space. All right, and that's how you do it. You can step through your program like any other debugger, do whatever you want. All right, so that should hopefully be useful to people. Thank you for watching.